is an opportunity open to all successful candidates. Entering the academy is not based on who knows who or what one has, but based on the drive of what one wants to become. Each cadet, regardless of his or her background, is thus to be seen and to be treated equally as any other cadet. Many have mistaken the reception rights as a social function to welcome new cadets to the country's premier institution. The reception rights marks the beginning of their cadetship. For any concerns of their lives, characterized by the season shouting and confusion, done by the key detail, aimed at breaking the spirits of those faint-hearted and ready for the rigorous military life.
Jesus in Sunday. Single Ephesians of Matthew Raymond, Single Mass of 2023.
necessarily for the invocation to be led by Captain Redentor Arrigos, Chaplain Service, to be followed by the blessing of the new cadet battalion, by the Grand Chaplain, Lieutenant Colonel, Joe Batista Maha, Chaplain Service. The Lord be good to his covenant of people, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Let us pray. Almighty and ever loving God, we are gathered here today to witness the reception rites of PMA class of 2025. By your divine appointment, before us are men and women who are more than willing to embrace the profession of arms, determined to accept the challenges that unfold every day in the journey as cadets. Guide their footsteps along the way. Fix their admiration for arms dealing and empower them to always choose what is noble and dignified. Be their constant companion to grant them physical purpose, mental alertness, and spiritual motivation. Grant them the vision of the high ideals of the noble profession of arms, and be molded with the anger of courage, integrity, and loyalty as they are prepared to be future officers and leaders of the EFP and of our beloved nation. With sincerity, we implore your continued dedication on Lieutenant General Ferdinand M. Caracuano, Philippine Air Force, our superintendent. May his presence and his exemplar inspire us and his words motivate us. In your most holy name, in your most holy name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the God of wisdom, knowledge, and grace be with you all. Thank you. 
Lord, who knew us. Kasi ang nawa ako ng Diyos. Baba ang kanang kamay. At this point, Congratulations. At this point, the Superintendent, Philippine Military Academy, Lieutenant General Ferdinand and Katohan of Philippine Air Force will deliver his message. Yes. And you can only do this through readiness, through the hard training 
on smart and education, we will do everything. You didn't come here to play basketball in our gym, nor swim in our swimming pool, nor simply gather in the picturesque landscape and sprawling grounds of Puerto Villar, just to take selfies and photographs. You came here to learn how to fight. To be a master in art and science of warfare and fight, you win. You are this nation's next greatest generation. You are an amazing group of teenagers and young adults. And as I look in your eyes, you possess the same confidence, the same compassion, the same eagerness, the same enthusiasm, and the same character as I was mine more than 30 years ago. I saw us the most gun before you in the long gray line here at Border Pillar. Who knows among you? May rise another future president of the Republic, just like President Fidel Valdez Ramos. Perhaps another senator or another member of Congress. Or one of the executives in local government units. Or captains of industry, entrepreneurs, and diplomats. But I very well know how far more important is that among you are future platoon, company, battalion, brigade, and division commanders. Some may be pilots in command and flight commanders of the fleet of aircraft, or the keepers of naval ships and of biggest units. Each of you will be taking a lifelong oath, no matter what the pressure. No matter what the cost to yourself, your career, or even your life, you must never waver. Your confidence, compassion, and character are going to be tested. You are going to operate in a really probably miserable in spite of conditions. You are going to make decisions and you will be fighting against a delicate and ruthless enemy who is going to give you no order. But like those that came before you, you are going to prevail. And you will win, I'm sure of it, for we will train and educate you to attain those during your four years stay with us. The challenge that each of you must accept and face is how you will hold yourself up and help plans the rocky waters of doubt so that you may be able to carry on building legacies that will be sources of pride of this institution and of the many generations to come. Prove that you are ready to contribute in shaping the destiny of our armed forces that continually build lives, create bridges of prosperity, and nurture young minds. In matters of style, go in the flow, says Thomas Jefferson, but in matters of principle, stand like a rock. Be always focused, Constantly motivated, be a man of character, be confident, and be committed to the values that I have characterized, perish, and during the visions founding on integrity, courage, and loyalty. It shall blossom from the depths of your character where your true humanity lies, where true service means, and where sincere actions emanate. The pure says to live the dream by taking the right steps, making the right choices, and with the right inspiration from those who have great love in your lives, your dear friends, your family and loved ones, and yes, from God. Members of PMA class of 2025, as you create your own destiny, let the omnipotent provider be the source of your strength and wisdom. Let him direct your lives and deepen the soul in serving our people, which I underscored during the 123rd period independence flag rights. And it said, each one should whatever he has received to serve others, says Peter. Faithfully administering God's grace in his by response. With that, again, let me congratulate all of you for succeeding. In your first steps, onward to the rewarding military career. 
Many were called, but only a very few few were chosen. And you are the lucky ones, for I personally pick you from the list given to me. Please don't pay me. It is the men and women who gave you the entire money of the armed forces of the Philippines and of the entire nation in general. Wish you all the best. May the first be with you. Carry on and with God's grace. Stay on. Pay class of 2025. Good luck on your adhesive journey. And remember this. The only way out from the pasture of the pain is through the exit gate which we call graduation. Nothing else. As a parent, I would like to congratulate all of your parents, relatives, and loved ones of our incoming kids. Enthusiastically watching us uh, briefly for allowing our sons and daughters to be us and to be one of us. Indeed, surgery is another process profession. Please help us get through with your love, support, and understanding that we will be able to do our job in training and moving them as heroes of the Republic. Salamat po. Kasi nakawal lang kita tayo lahat ang Pilipin Militaryo Aringin ang sabatang lakas ng Pilipinas ang buong sabihan ng Pilipino ng ating dakilang mulita. Maraming salamat po at magandang mulaga. Yes, please do take charge.
that as the reception rights of PAA Class of 2025, on behalf of the Superintendent, Lieutenant General Ferdinand and Battle Hanover of the Air Force, the Command of Arcadets, Colonel Andrews A. Tominas, Infantry MSA for the Army, we thank you all for being part of another milestone in the history of the Philippine Military Academy. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang Republika ng Pilipinas. NGB is the man. Share this blog with everyone. All right. All right.